All right, we're going to work on saving information that we create on our Google Earth map. Uh, and for example, I've got a very nice little activity fourth graders do with the geography of Virginia, in which I have this thing called the Oceans to the Mountains, and that is just um, a path that I created across the bottom of the state of Virginia. And along that path, I placed markers uh, and numbered them. And what the students do is that they have their own um, table to record information from. And they go to each place marker and they get the altitude of the land at that place marker. For instance, right here, number one, the altitude when that's pinned to Google Earth, if I go to the place marker and we look at the bottom right corner where it says elevation, it's minus two feet. If I move to the place marker number two, still at minus two feet. Number three, we're at eight feet. Number four, 60 feet or thereabouts. So what we can determine um, in a table and then making it into a graph is the general profile of um, the altitude above sea level relative to east to west as we go across the coastal plain, the Piedmont, the Blue Ridge, uh, Ridge and Valleys, um, Appalachian Plateau, right across it. So they kind of give a sense of the uh, rise and, and, and um, altitude of the land um, away from sea level as, as they go from east to west. Now here's the thing, you want to have, have the children have access to this file. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to right click on my places and we're going to say save place as and uh, we're going to call this altitude profile for fourth grade right and that's going to take that information and put it in what's called a KMZ or KML file if you look I saved it on my desktop there's the little Google Earth icon it's called a KMZ file and now all that information that was on my custom made map is saved in that KMZ file. Now I'm going to delete it here just to show you how easy it is to share this. Here we go. We're going to delete all the content. Right click and delete. And I'm going to take this KMZ file and I'm going to go up to temporary places and just drag it to that location and drop it. And you can see it just has all the information that I had put into this um, activity stored within it in a KMZ file. Now I could take this KMZ file and upload it into uh, cloud storage like Google Docs, share it with students, or put it on a network share where all they have to do is click on it and they'll get the map with those with those points on it. If they double click on a KMZ file it should open with the information from the KMZ file in it. So there it is. It goes right to it. So KMZ files are the way that you um, take information that you put on the map and customize it and share it with other people. Um, it's a great way to direct student learning or the student activity when you're using Google Earth.